How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about MULN, Mullen Automotive. It ended up being down just over 2.8% on the day. And if you guys remember when I was talking about the key levels from yesterday, we'll go over it again because there has been some changes and I want to make sure you guys are updated. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is a technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for MULN. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $2.40, being down 2.83%. On the low, it tested $2.33, and then on the high, testing $2.53. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 40.519 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 103.1 135 million shares. So that is well below the average in regards to volume. But hey, we just had a slight pullback on the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it's at 49.44. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 200 day, the 100 day, we are above the 50 day, and we close just below the 21 day EMA, which is set at $2.47, and we close at $2.40. So if you guys remember what I said in my previous video, I wanted us to stay above $2.22. We ended up seeing a low of $2.33. So this is good to see. So going into tomorrow, what I want to see from Mullen, I want to see us get above the high of the day at $2.53. Not only will this put us above the 21-day EMA, but I want to look forward to seeing if we can make a test going to $2.80. And getting above $2.80, that's where I'm looking for the breakout to see if we can get back to three dollars of course for tomorrow being the last trading day even if mullen is able to close above 260 that is not a bad look either if it decides to break through 233 which it tested on the day that's where we could see it starting to test 222 and that's where we want to see support hold up and if it breaks through that level then we want to see support hold right here at the 50 day most preferably at two dollars we could see that it's kind of moved back down to 191 but we need to hold that two dollar level because we do know we have a gap to the downside right here at 179 and this is the same area where i would assume we'd have a lot more buyers stepping in due to the fact we are looking forward to the catalyst that's supposed to be released this month in regards to the fortune 500 company that they're going to be having a deal with so let's go on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the short interest information from mullen automotive so for the off exchange short volume ratios at 44 point five zero percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 13.67 million shares scrolling down further on the page a short shares availability is at 300,000 updated 31 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 66.27 for the latest as far as for the max on the day it was at 143.83 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume you can see for the close of the 11th it's at 31 1.34 and then for the close of the 12th being at 44.50 so that is a significant increase right there and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float it is at 15.92 percent so what this shows us mullen does have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order 
airflow distribution for Mullen. So we see on the inflow, it is at 17.57, and then on the outflow, it's at 20.55. Keep in mind these numbers in the millions, and we end up having an outflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it was zero. On the medium, it is 12.49. On the small, it is 5.08. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0.83. On the medium, it was 14.43. And then on the small, it was 5.29. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, April the 13th, that outflow of 0.83 million. We also did see an outflow on the 12th as 0.02 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tend to represent the retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling then we had buying and then for the large represents whales institutions and funds we had more selling than we had buying and then when we take a look at the turnover ratio it was at 17.18 percent so this is not too bad for a volatile stock like mullen we can clearly see that there's a good amount of selling that is happening but we're still holding on to the key levels which i'll talk about inside of the final thoughts so let's get into it right now so for my final thoughts for mullen when it comes to the price action we ended up seeing a low of the day at two dollars and 33 cents so going into tomorrow we want to see that level hold if you remember what i said in the previous video as long as we stay above two dollars and 22 cents then the stock is going to continue to look good but the moment it breaks to two dollars and 22 cents that's where we could potentially visit around two dollars of course you might have some buyers stepping in around 215 and if we do get the two dollars that's where we got to start thinking about the gap fill to the downside which is at one dollar and 79 cents. Please add that to your homework if you are trading off the display because that's an area where we want to see bulls stepping in and that buying pressure coming into the play. If you're looking for a move to the upside, I would like to see Mullen get to at least around $2.80. Most preferably on a bullish day, I would love a close for the end of day Thursday right before the holidays at around $2.60. This would set us up well going into next week because let's be honest here, many people are inside of this play looking for to that catalyst. Who is that Fortune 500 company that has those orders for those EV vans? Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. And taking a look at the short borrow fee, it is just over 60%. And as far as for the max of the day, I think it was just over 140%. So does this mean that shorts have been covering their positions due to the fact that the short borrow fee has gone down? Yes, but also we have to take into consideration the more selling that we have happening on the retail side shorts are going to cover because again if they started their short positions when it was around four dollars or three dollars they are seeing some gains so what is going to be very curious for me are they going to continue to pile up on their shorts or will they start covering even more of their positions as the stock pulls back especially if it gets down to two dollars that's one thing that i'm going to be very curious about because what i want to see is this stock pull back to a dollar and 79 cents have buyers stepping in and then seeing the stock push up to the upside i think it'll be very helpful for the play. I know many people are not going to want to hear that, but I'd much rather us fill in the gap before we start making another move up. That is just my personal opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how Mullen performs going into tomorrow. And you know, I'm going to have an update video for you guys available as well. We'll be talking real soon.